Hello, hi. I'll just be with you in one minute. Just bear with me, please. Thank you. Hi, thank you for the wait. Okay, yep. Absolutely, we spoke on the phone, didn't we? Lovely, okay. Um, so are the both of you um, taking playing and trip away? Lovely, okay. Yes, you did come. You did use us before, didn't you? When was it? 20, um, yeah, 2013. Right, and we did, let me, let me call out your details, um, you did fill out an online survey, didn't you? Let us know the um, outcome of your holiday and whether we'd got the package right for you. You'd had a good time, yeah? Oh, great, lovely, okay. You remind me of your uh, postcode? Yeah, that's just quicker sometimes than just writing. Yeah, exactly, it gets to you directly. Just number? Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh yes, here we are. Lovely. Gosh, that was several years ago. Uh-huh. You had a good time. I'm oh, really, really glad about that. Lovely. So you obviously trust us to organise another holiday for you, which is wonderful. Um, so remind me, last time you went to Romania, I believe, and you went on a, a boat cruise as well as a, a general... Um, tour around the country, is that right? Okay, lovely. Um, so I've got quite a few uh, holiday brochures here. Let me just pull these out some of the latest catalogues. We have recently had a Sort out. We did have kicking around a few ones from previous years, so we've just gone through and updated those. Um, okay. Just while I'm pulling some really good ones out, did you have an idea of where you wanted to go, whether abroad or um, in the UK, staycation? all over the world, of course. Norway, of course. As with anything, I would say it very much depends on your budget. Saying that, uh, if there was a particular holiday, a, bit, a destination, sorry, that you really wanted to go to, um, we were, and it was destination that's typically quite expensive, then we might be able to arrange a package deal for you um, for a shorter stay, so maybe you could have two, two cheeky holidays. 
breaks up the year a bit, doesn't it? Working year. Okay. Okay, so I've got a nice selection here that we can go through today if that's what you'd be wanting. Okay. Um, and there was definitely no um, preferences at this moment in time. Okay, so no, you know, no preferences after the country, the types of holiday you want to go on. Or Okay, okay, so like last time, something cultural, okay, and to get in the country, what about in terms of activities? Did you want something um, quite active, adventurous? Okay, so walking predominantly, sure, okay. So you can take in all the sights, that kind of thing, okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure, so we've actually got quite a lot of deals here with um, our package tour holiday partners. They all vary in rustic, uh, um, whether it's scenery you wanted, um, historical cities, city breaks, that kind of thing. And the type of Accommodation you wanted to stay in. Sure, okay, so, um, <coughs> so, so just before we get started, really, let's just work out your budget and how long you were planning to stay if we were assuming that you did actually want to take one big holiday. Okay. <coughs> Okay, and that will be for you're hoping. Okay. Yep, our prices have gone up rather uh, about ten percent, so it may be that you wouldn't be able to take um, you wouldn't be able to enjoy a two week, a full two week break away for that amount. But certainly we could do you a package of perhaps ten days or so. But again, it does depend where you're going. If you wanted to actually have a staycation and enjoy the sights. In, in the UK, then absolutely we could come in, we'd be able to offer you something well under your budget. Sure. Okay. Okay. So just input this to the computer. Hmm. Okay, computer says no at the moment. Let's just try that again. Bear with me. Definitely try. Hmm, it just says no. Would it be saying no? Hmm. See what's going on. Let's just try 1300 for argument's sake. Computer says no. Let's try. We're away. Okay, I'm just going to go through some of the uh, more exotic locations. So, this is, let's look at this one first, Experience Travel Group. Now, they're really great um, in terms of they really put together some really great packages for you and really incredible adventures. The only thing I'd say with this particular group, and it's quite a biggie, is that they're way over your budget. Um, it's absolutely once in a lifetime opportunity really. But um, the minimum they start is around 3,000 um, per person. Saying that, um, the support they provide you, the, the cultural experience, the really rich heritage is absolutely incredible. Did you want to go through this uh, magazine anyway, just have a little look or...? No, okay, no problem. Absolutely understand that. Okay, Trail Finders is similar, slightly more um, 
good value for money. They go to this particular one, it is New Zealand. Um, New, Ve New Zealand, if you ever get a chance to go there, this could be it. Um, take it up. However, um, again, this suffers from the same kind of problem. Um, this is going to be for people whose budget minimum about 2000 per person and it goes all the way up to six, seven. Um, oh, the whale. Yeah, definitely there's, there's incredible opportunities there. Temp typically 12 days. Um, everything's included. As well as a, yeah, exactly. That's right. I mean, this is the type of experience you can expect. They glow worms, romantic boat trips along the rivers. It's incredible. Um, so what I like to do is just to go through the magazines. Not necessarily, um, and the brochures, not necessarily to choose a holiday from this company. But particularly with customers who are not quite sure what they want, where they want to go. It might be that the old picture stands out of them, just like when you saw the Ocra Whale. That might be, um, that might give them ideas for some other things spark off some more suggestions. And I'm absolutely happy to go through this brochure with you if you would like. Um, but as I said, I mean the prices are, they are the high range. Okay, so let's put that to one side. Now Saga again, they're another great travel company, very very experienced. Don't be put off that it's saga. Um, again, a lot of it may just be just to inspire you really. Okay, so these are the same kind of prices. Lakeside Lodge, for example, in South Africa, nine nights from 1899 per person. But again, it might just be the of pictures and the destination. One. This is uh, this holiday is in India. The tigers of Ranthamapur, palaces of Rajasthan and the Taj Mahal. So this is particular holiday. It's 15 days from 2,000 pounds per person. Yeah, that's right. Um, but this does include a trip to the national park where you come meet the tigers. That's right. And the further the further you travel, the further across the world, then of course. The experience are going to be more exotic, um, but that does put the price up. I mean, what it might be, what I might suggest, is that you might want to uh, book a few days away uh, abroad, so we could help you become under budget, which is for 
three or four nights and then have more of an extended holiday in, in the UK. I'll go through some of those types of holidays later but that might be an opportunity for you. Would you like to have a copy of this particular magazine? Just for inspiration. No problem. <coughs> Let's just have a look now. I'm just going to quickly show you Norway. This, of course, is... Um, prices start from around four... Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so these... They're not too bad. Um... There were some Arctic trips from around £128 per person. They're more skiing and things, okay. Um, but in terms of seeing the Northern Lights, which is, is an absolute must, um, the prices do go up quite a little bit. These are the sort of things you can expect on the real magic, magic holiday. What I'd say is that they are a lot more expensive in the winter time of year for obvious reasons. Um, which is understandable, but also considering that there's less uh, daylight hours, it is a little crazy. Um, you get slightly more for your money in the summer, um, but not too much. It depends, of course, where you want to go. You don't, okay, you don't want to look anymore up north, that's fine. Have a look at the last uh, European or across the world holiday I wanted to show you is lakes and mountains. You said you wanted to look for something with a bit more scenery. Um, Slovenia, Italy. I'll just just go through the pages and you let me know if there's anything that takes your fancy. There's a Swiss classic tour. You get a four star hotels as standard. It's a rail holiday. Uh, it gives you a fantastic overview of Switzerland varied scenery. Sure. This is just, this will be just over your budget. Um, so 10 nights from 1,129 per person. Sure. Well, let me put this to one side. It might be that we could potentially do you do your deal um, if you wanted to go and see what offers we have. Put that to one side. Um, I wanted to show you something like this, which is short breaks. This is Potter's Report. So they do all inclusive holidays um, themes as well. Um, so 
massive from March. Sorry, we're in April now, aren't we? These holidays. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. They are all inclusive in terms of its its um, holiday resort. So all the entertainment is included there. You don't need to go out of the resort at all. Be swimming pools, all night entertainment. Um, activities and shows and all kinds of things going on. Um, yeah, I can, I can, I can imagine this probably isn't your ideal holiday. Thinking about it, you wouldn't really, you wouldn't get any opportunity to um, explore the the local area or get a sense of heritage. I mean, it is good budget holiday in terms of it's a few nights away. It's, change is as good as a rest they say isn't it so um it's targeted at young families who maybe don't want to do a lot of traveling really and just want to stay in one place but in terms of really wanting to get the culture and and the um, way of life of the area this may not be for you i can see that okay so let's put that to one side um in the themes of this Doctor Who experience. Just see that. In a day or two. A lot of this sits over the UK. Yeah, these are very much these um, ladies' day at what I've got. Trip to downtown Abbey film inside. Um, Disney weekend. A lot of these is very much around a family, sure, sure thing. Now these Christmas markets. Um, we do some good deals near the time. There. Just take your pick. All over the world, they are just—they are just breathtaking. Some of them, some of course, are better than others. The one, the German ones, are renowned world over. Um, don't know too much about the um, British ones. These are also very good. But you wanted a summer, didn't you? So this one is more for families and themes. Let's have a look. Let's look at that. Minute. Now Guernsey is uh, my personal favourite. I tend to recommend Guernsey.
holiday includes all coach travel by modern executive coach. Seven nights, dinner, bed and buffet breakfasts. Channel crossing, via tunnel. Dover Calais Ferry. Four star main hotel, all rooms en suite. Use of fabulous hotel leisure facilities. Full excursion programme, quality overnight hotels and service of two drivers. So, this is eight days, seven nights. Starts from 679 per person. So, Saturday, we commence with a journey to Kent for our crossing of the English Channel. We continue through France to our first overnight hotel for an evening meal and pleasant night's rest. Sunday, on across France and into Switzerland at Basel, we arrived at Lu Lake Lucerne and the Sea Hotel Pilatus in <coughs> Hergesville in time for a relaxing evening dinner. Monday, an easy day with a visit to nearby medieval Lucerne, an incredibly picturesque city. Lucerne is guaranteed to leave lasting memories. Fabulous wooden bridges, frescoed buildings, narrow streets, alleyways, delightful gardens, lakeside walks, fascinating museums, cafes, bars and wonderful stores. You will delight in exploring the city. Tuesday, along the banks of the lake. Brienz to the mountain town of Interlaken, Laken, set below the mighty Jungfrau Massif. Enjoy relaxing in the comfort of your coach as we travel high into the mountains or take the opportunity of an optional tour on the narrow gorge railway to the world famous resort of Grindelwald. Don't forget your cameras. Wednesday. A day to relax and enjoy the fabulous position of the hotel. Bathe in the fresh waters of the lake or explore the nearby village. For the more adventurous, your drivers will assist in arranging cable car or mountain railroad ties to the top of the adjacent Mount Pilatus. The views are simply stunning, or why not take the opportunity of a cruise on one of the lake's fabulous paddle steamers. Thursday, more breathtaking scenery as we take head along the route of the Glacier Express. An opportunity to ride on the Schollingen Gorge train to Ardermatt, then up to the 2033 metre high Alp Pass. And actually, as you notice, this also encompasses the Glacier Express, which is a much more of a cost-effective option than, than previously. Friday, farewell to Switzerland and back into France for our last night's evening meal and accommodation. Saturday, back across the Channel, returning home mid-evening with everlasting memories. And this is about your resort, Hergisville on Lake Lausanne. A perfectly located village on the shores of one of Europe's most beautiful lakes. The fabulous attractions of the magnificent mountains are all on your doorstep. From old steamers across the cruising the lake to the world's steepest railway on Mount Pilatus. Now an important note here is that in Switzerland it still actually has its own currency, the Swiss franc, though many places in Switzerland do still accept euros. Um, okay, so the hotel, the Four Star Pilatus Hotel. The Four Star Sea Hotel Pilatus in Hagersville sits on the shoreline offering breathtaking view over Lake Lucerne. Panoramic location is complemented by the friendliest of welcomes. The hotel offers wonderful leisure facilities with indoor heated swimming pool, aqua room and spa, sauna, jacuzzi and gymnasium. Why not simply bask in the sun in the idyllic hotel garden with its shady trees on the shores of Lake Lucerne and let your eyes wander over the magnificent alpine peaks? All comfortable rooms offer full private facilities and satellite TV. Dining is a pleasure with a three-course dinner followed by tea or coffee served with the splendour of lakeside views. Enjoy dancing in the Space Dance Club or chat in a bistro bar. A very popular hotel in an enviable location. Okay, so is this something that you'd be interested in? Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so glad we found something ideal for you. Okay. Okay, so the this particular tour actually only runs on four different dates. So let's, fingers crossed, this is something you can do. So it's going to be June the 17th, July the 15th, August the 12th, or September the 9th. Any of those dates um, are convenient 
meet up with your availability. July 15, okay. Um, and that is £679.99 per person. Okay, let me just type this information into my computer and I will confirm um, the total cost of your holiday. Okay, this is, I'm just entering the information now. So, of course. That's going to be a total of... Oh, beg your pardon. I have to also take into account um, our own fees. your budget saying that actually but so just let me know um, you might be able to do an, an offer here so that comes in on um, £1,359.98 plus agency fees that's going to be 1400 okay but what I'm happy to do is I can reduce that so we can pay three one thousand three hundred and let me check actually what I can do for you. <laughs> because you've been a returning customer, I can offer that at a rate of 1,300 tops. Great, that's brilliant news. Okay, so are you happy for me to go ahead and book? Yep, and that absolutely includes flights and everything. So you just need spending money. Yeah, but it includes dinner, of course, so unless you're very welcome to go and um, enjoy and sample the latest, the local cuisine, of course, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's I'd really recommend these types of holidays, actually, because you can get a taste of it, and if you really like it, then of course you can go back on your own steam. Exactly, and it doesn't, I think there can be a problem with coach holidays, is that they can spend a lot of time on the coach. Um much time and you end up just feeling frustrated but this this is one of the companies that really don't it is the coach is to get you from a to b once you're there you have the freedom to enjoy the, the environment okay let me back you in then great stuff What I'll do is I will don't need a deposit just now, but I will certainly need one. Um, when do we say July 15? I'll certainly need one in six weeks' time. And you can either pay all in one go or you can pay in two installments. Sure, excellent. So, she didn't arrange a, a time back a return so you can. You absolutely can ring up, of course, yes, we do take that by phone too, okay. Now, would you like to actually take this copy of this magazine, so you can just have a look? Sure. Yeah, of course, one thing I, I should have said um, is that this actually isn't, once you pay the deposit, um, it's, you can get only a certain amount of money back if you do have to cancel, even, I'm afraid, in, in uh, there aren't any mitigating circumstances. Um, but if you cancel, the earlier you cancel, if you do need to, then the more money you get back, of course. The sliding scale, of course, if you cancel uh, up to a week, then you won't get any uh, of your money back. But let's, let's hope that doesn't happen. That's why we do off, offer holiday insurance. Interested in that? Okay. So that's going to be £100. Okay. Let's add that to your invoice. Would you like me to in email that over to you? Absolutely. And with that, I will send you a welcome back and a confirmation of your itinerary. 
holiday package you booked with us. Okay, and I should, is it the same email? Great, okay. That's brilliant. I'm so glad we've been able to arrange and find a suitable package for you. Okay, and I'll speak to you soon.